Hi, welcome to the second video on how to set up professional Rhino environment, uh, how to set up Rhino interface. And today we'll talk about uh, Rhino shortcuts or hotkeys. And I think um, these are probably the most important tools or setup in making your workflow fast and efficient. And if you don't use a keyboard uh, while you work with Rhino, I would strongly rec recommend for you to do it. It may be a bit unusual at the beginning, but it really saves you a lot of time. So, um, yeah, instead of compared to typing or moving mouse every time, it just saves you a lot of steps in between, and, and I would highly, highly recommend you to do it. Now, um, Rhino already has quite a few keyboards by, de by default, and some of them are quite good, but the others are um, maybe locate it not comfortably for your hand so that's why it's better to customize it and also i think it makes sense to customize your shortcuts for every project because sometimes maybe you work a lot with lines and 2d drawings and in that case maybe you want to focus more on drafting tools so you can set up your keyboard uh, shortcuts and to for these commands other times maybe if you work a lot with 3d and rendering in that case uh, it, it makes sense to adjust so so how, how to do that? Well, it's very simple. We just go to properties. Again, we can access properties either going to this icon here or this little icon here. And then when you click it, uh, we go to keyboard and we have um, the list of entire key shortcuts um, which comes with Rhino as, as default. So we can see that there are quite a few. Um, and these are so I already changed for my for my use, and as you can see, <clears throat> um, the way I prioritize keyboard shortcuts is um, depending on um, keyboards on on a, like buttons on a keyboard. So I want to be able to access all the commands with one hand. So which means I should be able to press uh, control with my th thumb and then all the other buttons. With one hand so it, it should be quite quite close to, to each other also uh, in my case I, I tried to sort of especially at the beginning if I change a location of a command I want to make so that the letter let's say makes sense to me so for example command control a I made array it just makes sense for me Letter a and array also things like copy and, uh, and 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 others so here you can see the list of my uh, shortcuts so from from top control a i made an array also control b i left it as it is uh, which is block i don't use block that often so it's fine with me control c i made it copy it just uh, or was it there before thing and then control d e and f um, I changed to fillet corners, chamfer edges, and fillet edges. So, because these are quite often used commands, and also I just wanted to group them together. So, if you look at your keyboard, so letter E, D, and F, they are all close to each other. Um, looking down, Control G, H, and Y, I, and J, I just uh, left it as this. And these letters, if you look at your keyboard, are quite far away from a button control um, so that's why I, I don't and also these commands I don't use them often or some of them uh, something like you know, hide and insert and join I already made on my pop-up menu on the mouse so it's not a problem for me and the one which I probably use most of the time is uh, command control Q so which is uh, I made move and it just uh, helps me a lot to you know every time I, I want to move precisely I just control Q other times I would use Gumbon so these are my <clears throat> yeah these are my shortcuts I use and you can easily change them and modify every command you want just by simply access coming here and then pressing OK if for example you don't know what's the name of a command um, you can check that by going to any any tool let's say let's say this and then when you click it on your command line here you see it says uh, the name of the command so 
this uh, you can just simply copy this uh, this name go back to your um, to your properties go to keyboard and uh, you can find empty slot or you can just overwrite existing uh, existing command so let's say f4 is free i can just simply paste it and fit surface or whatever whatever the command was and just simply hit ok and i have it so uh, it's very very simple and i highly highly recommend for everyone who works at Rhino get used to working hotkeys it just you'll see it saves you a lot of time and when you when you feel very weird if you start using some default settings or another computer and yeah it you, you need to have them um also finally uh, i would uh, also um when I, whenever i work i always use a gumball it's just a um, very versatile tool and uh, for people who used to work in 3d max it's very uh, you know you know what i'm talking about but uh, for people who never used um other software like uh, 3d max or maya um it's maybe a new thing because the previous versions of rhino didn't have it but it's it's um it's very very uh, efficient tool it saves a lot of time and com things like command rotate and and you know just move it around and scale it in 1d or 2d or so on and so forth so you can simply turn it on and off by going to gumball also um osnap i always use osnaps and you can either turn it on and off by clicking here so these are just you know things helps you to make your workflow efficient and, and just very precise so again depending on what you're working on things like endpoint near point mid center and so on and so forth so these are very handy things to have and you can easily access just by clicking or snap um yes so this is um short overview on how to set up a rhino environment and your interface and again i, I would recommend to have many different interfaces for different types of projects and um, yes just keep doing that get used to working with keyboard and you will never regret so thank you for watching and bye bye